can watch us uh, live here, or if you're listening to the recording on, on a podcast, then I will be verbally saying it out loud so that you know you can you can try to follow along as best as you can. So let's let's uh, let's call Pauline. Uh, Pauline, why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about you? And I know I understand that you do have hip pain. Um, so just tell us a little bit about what's been going on so okay. that we can, have a, we can have a background. I'll be taking some notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I was diagnosed with um, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis and fibromyalgia um, about 20 years ago. And so I've had pain in different parts of my body. Uh, about 10 years ago, I was 98 kilos and I was walking with walking sticks and like every, every part of my body was really painful. And I woke up one morning and decided no, enough is enough. I, I want to get my life back. So something changed in my mind and uh, I started exercising a little, eating better. I lost 18 kilograms and I could throw away my walking sticks and I had these things on my hands, you know, to help. And so most of my body is, uh, the pain has reduced greatly, immensely. But um, and for the last two years, this pain in my hip has been keeping me up at night. Uh, and sometimes the pain goes down my leg and to my foot. But it's not sciatic pain. It's something different. And it's more like a numbness. And I, I don't know if it's my posture, but now when I'm listening to you, I'm thinking well, maybe it's like because I'm, I'm stressed about other things because I started a company uh, about okay, four years ago. Uh -huh. That's enough. So, uh, too much info. <laughs> no, no, no. I would love that info, uh -huh. but I'm just gonna, you know, just just uh, in just chunks. tell the people who are who are who are, who are watching. So it's yeah. important to, you know, uh, first of all, uh, let me ask you, Pauline. Right now, uh, where do you feel the hip pain? Right now. Right now, uh, where do I feel it, or how much, how intense do I feel it? No, like just where is it? Because sometimes uh -huh. it's on the left side or it's in the center. Oh, of yeah. oh yeah, of course. Uh -huh. It's always on the left side. Always on the left side. I've, I've never had it on my right side. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's on the left side of your hip. Yes. And uh, if you were to rate it right now on a scale of 0 to 10, not, not you know, like it gets really intense in the morning or yeah. when I... But right now, as you're sitting here, how intense does it feel on a scale of zero to 10? 10 is like, it's really, really bad. Uh -huh. And zero is like none at all. It's about a five. It's, a, it's usually in the nighttime, it's worse. But today it's noon, it's about a five. Yeah. Okay. And how would you describe the pain? So we know it's on the left side of your hip. You, uh -huh. We know that the intensity is about a five. How would you describe the pain? Because a lot of people have different descriptions for their pain. Some people feel a soreness, not pain. Some, some people just say it's, it feels like heaviness or pressure. What does it feel like to you right now, this, this five, whatever that five is? It's, um, it's a sort of spreading pain. It's, like a diff it's not sharp. But it's a sort of um, kind of this. It's, it's kind of radiating, radiating, and somehow it's like a numbness. But that doesn't sound right because numb, you wouldn't feel it. But it's like you know when you when, when this sort of um, it feels a bit like um, I, I really don't know what it is. It's like pressing uh, pressure, ah, and, pressure, and and okay. um, it, it's pressure. It's it, uh, and it's radiating. It's about. It's like a big sort of giant circle. It's not in one point. It's spread. Oh, you know, if I put my hands on my hip, I could stand up and show you <laughs> if you want. No, that's okay. I, I get it. You said uh, giant circle. So yeah, it, it, yeah. It's kind of like in a in a big area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the left side of the hip, and it's so uh, irritating. I, I I just want to. I want to run away from it. <laughs> But yeah, I it will come with me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, and that's the next step. So, uh, you know, I was asking Pauline right now. I'm just, I'm just sharing with the audience as we go along that yeah. whenever you have, you know, if you have a hip pain, first of all, notice where is it located. How intense does that feel right now? Uh, you know, and describe it because for everyone it's different. And how do you feel about that pain is also an important piece of getting to the root. Mm -hmm. So as Pauline, you were saying, you feel like you want to run away, you, you feel frustrated. Mm 
-hmm. How does it interfere in your life right now? It, it keeps me awake at night. And then, so that makes me tired in the morning. And I'm always mm -hmm. trying to stretch and move and uh, trying to sleep in the bed in a comfortable position. Mm -hmm. And I, I can be comfortable for two or three minutes and then the pain starts to throb and it's driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Yeah. Uh huh. It's it's very making my life. Uh, you know, I because I have a lot of stress in my life right now, and this is just adding to it. It's like, uh, sure, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so for for those who've joined, or if you're watching on the replay, or you're listening on the podcast, or you found your way to my YouTube channel, or or, or you know, just uh, follow along. And I want you to so tune in as we did with Pauline. Where's your plane located? How intense it is? G give give yourself a zero to ten number, and just notice how are you feeling about it, okay? And once you've done that, uh, we're going to start tapping. We're going to start using this tool uh, to try to manage those pain levels, and we're going to see on a scale of zero to ten if it's a five, did it shift? What happened? So. Uh, let's ju just jump in, into the tapping. The tapping is basically, right now what we're going to do, Pauline, you can follow along, um, is uh, tap on the karate chop. And the karate chop point is the point at the start or the base of the fin pinky finger all the way down to your wrist, mm -hmm. right? That's that big area. And it could be on either side of your hand. Mm -hmm. So it starts at the pinky, at the base of the pinky, going down to the wrist. And do I use that's the karate chop point? How many fingers do I'm I use? I'm going to use a bunch of fingers to tap okay. on. Whether uh, you you can tap on either side of the hand. So let's tap on the karate chop point. And at this point, we're going to address the problem that we are having. We're tuning in, and we're tapping. We're tuning into what's going on with us. And I'm going to say everything that's related to Pauline, but you can tune in and shift the words around to your specific description of the pain, intensity of the pain, and the location of the pain, okay? Um, so let, let's just, let's begin. And Pauline, we're gonna play Simon Says, and you just, uh, you know, um, you're just gonna follow along. So even though I'm holding on, tap on the karate chop and say, even though I'm holding on, just repeat Even though mind, I'm holding on. Even though I'm holding on to this pain, on the left side of my hip. Even though I'm holding on to this pain in the left side of my hip. I choose to acknowledge mm -hmm. my body's message to me. I choose to acknowledge. Even though I'm even, having so much pain on the left side of my hip. Even though I'm having. And it feels like pressure, like. Should I be saying uh, it in like my mind? Should I be saying it in my mind or out loud? And it's radiating. Can you hear me, Polly? Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> no, you, you, you don't. You don't. Uh, you don't Should have I speak to or just have it in my mind? Yeah, just have it in your mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's keep, keep going at the karate chop. Even though I'm holding on to this pain in the left side of my hip, and it's really annoying, I feel like I want to run away. It's really taking a toll on me. I'm going to acknowledge how I'm feeling and I'm going to honor this message that my body is sending to me. Now we're gonna tap on other points. So we're gonna go what we call the eyebrow point and it's the start of your eyebrow. So just tap on that eyebrow wherever it starts, whether it's on the left side or the right side, you can choose. So. Keep tapping and tuning in and just following along, okay? We're still, you're just following along with me. All this pain in my left hip that I'm holding on to. On the side of your eye, just tap on the side of your eye. All this pain in my left hip. Under the eye, just tap under one of the eyes. On the bone right, on the bone under the eye. Mm -hmm. All this pain in my hip that I'm holding on to, under the nose, I feel so frustrated. I feel like on the chin, tap on the chin, I feel like I wanna run away. 
collarbone. Just tap on the collarbone area. I can't sleep because of this hip pain. Top of the head. Just tap on the top of the head. This pain on the left side of my hip, it's keeping me from feeling peace and ease in my life. Eyebrow. All this pain in my left hip and moving forward in my life. Side of the eye. All these annoyed feelings moving forward. Under the eye, all this ache and pain in my left, left hip moving forward. Under the nose, it feels like it's spreading, it's radiating in a circle. On the chin, it even feels like pressure. All this pressure on my left hip, collarbone. I'm still holding on to all this pressure in my left hip. As I move forward, tap on the top of the head. What if I could release some of this pain and let it go? Tap on the eyebrow point. What if I could release some of this pressure that I'm holding on to? Side of the eye. What if I don't have to move forward holding on to so much stress and tension and pressure? Under the eye. What if I could release all this pressure and tension that I'm holding on to subconsciously somewhere under the nose? What if I could feel more ease moving forward in my life? On the chin, what if I could feel more peace moving forward in my life? Collarbone. I choose to feel more relaxed and peaceful as I release and let go this pressure, this frustration, this heaviness. Tap on the top of the head. I prefer peace moving forward. And just take a deep breath. And I want you to notice, um, you know, what the thoughts are coming up, what, what, what's coming up for you. And let's go to Pauline and see, um, Pauline, what, uh, you know, if, just tune back in uh, to that hip pain on your left hip. And uh, if it was a five, a level five, and it was radiating and it was like in a circle uh, and felt like pressure, what, what's, what's happening right now? I'm going to take notes. Uh, um, it's it's much less, and I'm, I, I feel like what what happened there? <laughs> you know, like I've seen this done before, and I thought, are these people are just making it up? <laughs> but really, I, I would say it's like a two. Okay. No? So, no. so from a scale of zero to ten, from a but, five, it's at a two. Uh -huh. And I want everybody, yeah. you know, joining in and and tapping along to tune into your number. And see what's going on with your with your pain. Going back to Pauline. Now I want you to describe the pain that you're feeling right now. Like what does it feel like? Does it feel like it's radiating? It's spreading? It's pressure? It feels like the circle is smaller. Yeah. <laughs> the circle yeah. is smaller. Um, yeah, and it's like it, so. It's, it's like there is definitely a a, a center to the mm. circle. And it's got smaller, and so the pain is in that smaller area. But even even it's in a smaller area, it's less intense. It's like somebody has was uh -huh. pushing, and now they're sort of, they're still pushing, but they're a little bit not so hard, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when 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 I was doing it, my mind, I, I was trying to focus on what you were saying, but my mind was. Uh, going to all the stressful things that I'm, you know, my husband is sick and and yeah. my business is really busy and and my mind kept jumping to these things and then I kept saying, no, go back to remember what Shalini is saying. That's you know? fine because and, that's that's the yeah. process. 
So I'm just going to do a bit of coaching. So what happens is when you're tuned in to this pressure, because it feels like this pressure that's radiating this in a circle. And when you're talking about all this pressure and you're tapping on your body, your body is tuning into, you know, what's going on? What's the pressure in my life right now? What's the pressure moving forward? What's the pressure uh, that I'm feeling in my daily life? And so, you know, it's really important to tune in to what comes up. What are the thoughts that come up? Because those are the root issues that need to be addressed. Now, going back to you, Pauline, you know, you were, you were, you, you're saying that you, all these things were coming up. Your, your husband's sick and you have a lot of pressure in your work. Now, I want to go back to when was the first time you noticed that this pain started? I heard you say it was two years ago. It could have been two or three years ago, something okay. like that, yeah. The time, the time goes by quickly. The older you get, the quicker the time goes by. So let's tune, I wanna, the, the other question I want to ask you right now is, what, can you remember what the stress in your life was like two, three years ago when, this, when, this, when you started noticing this pain? What was the stress in your life at that time? Um, it was. I started a company, and you know, it was doing well, but there was so much involved, and I had never run a company before. And you know, I, I'm originally from Scotland, and I'm living in Iceland, so everything here, the business was in Icelandic. <laughs> so I was having to, you know, learn more words, Icelandic words, and still not understanding everything. Mm -hmm. So even if you start a company in your own language. It's difficult enough, but starting it in another language was really mm. stressful. And I made I made a lot of mistakes, you know, because I didn't really know yeah. what I was doing. And then I and I would uh, and then of course I, I lost a lot of money because I would buy something that wasn't appropriate for the business and then I would I would be chastising yeah. myself. Oh, you're so stupid. Why did you buy this or do that? Yeah, no. so just hang on. A lot of so like that, so yeah. whenever you're you're working with uh, you know uh, hip pain or any sort of pain, actually, you want to go back and notice when was the first time I noticed this pain started? Because, you know, pain, I said, is a message. It's simply a message. And it's letting you know, hey, something's going on. Mm -hmm. But it's not something going on outside of you. It's something going on inside of you. So you want to go back and you mm -hmm. want to see what was the stress in my life when I first noticed this hip pain? And I, I can guarantee you there was some stress in your life because your body is a very intelligent being. It knows it's, it's doing its stuff until we're doing something that's putting pressure or, you know, resistance inside. And so let's, uh, so, you know, for, for those who are joining us, you know, tune into what was going on in your life. That's a very key question to get to the root issues of what was going on in my life when I first noticed this pain and tune into that stress. So Pauline, if we had to, uh, if we had to, if I asked you right now um, if, if, to try to go back to that incident where, uh, you know, maybe just close your eyes and tune into that time when you were, you, you know, you were starting a company, you were in Iceland, you were learning your new language and you're, you, you know, your husband was, you said, uh, sick and you started the company and making mistakes. Uh, if we, if you tune into that time, um, what feelings come up right now as you think about that time on a scale of zero to 10, how, how, what, what comes up for you? What are the dominant feelings that you're feeling when you think about that old incident and what would your number be on a scale of zero to 10 uh, about the stress that you were going through? You can open your eyes, yeah. A 10. 10. <laughs> so yeah. when, you're, when you're tuned into that right now, it feels like a 10. And as you tuned in right now, the other thing is, what what's going on with your hip right now, the left hip? It's getting more painful. Okay, so it was a five and went down to a two. Mm -hmm. Now, how much is it? Mm -hmm. It's about a five about again. A five. <laughs> maybe a four, maybe okay. a four. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. what is the dominant feeling that's coming up uh, that feels like a 10? Is it anger? Is it? No, it's like um, I have to do everything mm. myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only person I can rely on is mm. myself. Uh. Yeah. And I want to just, and then, and and I'm responsible for the mistakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and that's and that's that's a heavy burden to bear. And so you know, it's yes. it's uh, mm -hmm. just just pausing uh, for a bit, you know. And, and you want to go back and say that hips move you forward, and hips are about mm -hmm. you know important decisions that you're me move uh, making moving forward. So you're making certain decisions, you're making certain mistakes because you made those decisions. And there's a lot of stress mm -hmm. moving forward, starting a company or moving forward with a big decision and there's mistakes and all of that. And so that stress mm -hmm. is still embedded inside and it hasn't been released. And that's why it's stored. Mm -hmm. And even though it's been a long time that, you know, that you've had this um, and, uh, you know, when you tune up uh, into it right now, you can still feel that stress inside. So what we're going to mm -hmm. do, we're going to mm -hmm. do some tapping, Pauline. Let's let's begin some tapping and actually to make it simple, we're just going to tap on the collarbone so that it's just easy to follow. And I want you to tune in and just follow along. And those who are tapping along, tune into what was stressing you out as I, you know, tune into uh, tapping on Pauline's stress. You can tune into your stress and just follow along and to make it really simple, just tap on your collarbone. Yeah. Where we're, we're just tapping on the collarbone. Uh, it's the mushy area right under your collarbone. So tap there and we're gonna, we're gonna tune in. All the stress from the past. All the stress. I can remember when this started. I can remember. Two, three years ago. All the stress starting that company, learning the language, all the stress in my body keep tapping on the collarbone all the stress in my life when i was starting my company making those mistakes it's hard enough starting your business in your own country and i was starting business in a different country with different language all those mistakes having to do this all on my own, moving forward, so much responsibility moving forward, so much stress moving forward, so many decisions moving forward, so many mistakes moving forward, all this tension, all this old stress, I can still feel it and it feels like a 10. All this tension and stress and guilt, making those mistakes, feeling responsible, losing money, all the stress that I'm still holding on to. I'm here in this room, but I can still feel that stress from two, three years ago. What if I could release that now? What if I don't have to carry that baggage with me everywhere I go, every day of my life? What if I could feel free instead? What if I can offload some of that stress and that pressure in my left hip moving forward? What if I could feel ease and peace instead? I used to have that conflict. Thank God it's over. I can release this pressure now. I can release this stress now and allow myself to feel peace and ease in my mind, in my heart, in my body, in my left hip as I move forward. Take a deep breath. Okay. And as we were tapping, just see what was coming up for you. See what's, you know, what thoughts came up, what, what, feelings came up. We're going to go back to uh, Pauline right now. So Pauline, what's going on? What, what's let's let's tune into if the number was back at a four and a five in your left hip. What's what's going on right now? Um, yeah, it's much reduced. I would say it's back to a two uh -huh. again. Yeah. And uh, did did anything come up for you as we were as we were doing the tapping? <laughs> Yeah, I was remembering that the biggest mistake okay, that I pause. made in the company. Can you just tap as you yeah. as you as you're speaking? Yeah. Just tap. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, I I was remembering the specific biggest mistake that I made in the company and, and how much money. And I, my mind was counting up how much I'd lost. <laughs> and like, and also the, the comments I got back from my mm -hmm. customers about how bad this thing was. And, and as you tune into that, what are you feeling right now? <clears throat> um, I'm feeling right now, uh, I'm thinking, I'm telling myself, why are you worried about this thing that happened two years ago? That was like crazy. You know, it's like, this is the past, that's the past, you're in the present now. And yeah, if, I feel it's like, you know, because I'm always saying to people, oh, you know, leave your emotional baggage behind, but I'm keeping my own emotional yeah, baggage. Yeah, I <laughs> I feel pretty stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, and and that's what we do. And, you know, we don't do it consciously. We're not holding on to our emotional no, stuff. We no. think we've let go, but we, yeah. it's, it's never really let go because when, here's the thing to know. If you've really let go, if you tune back into 10 years ago, uh, two years ago, or whenever your pain started and whatever the stress was, when you can look at it and feel neutral, and not feel shame and not feel guilt and not feel pain and not feel like, oh, my God, you know, and not feel like a 10 emotionally, then you really know. I can hear you, uh, you know, breathe deep and that's a good, good sign. So emotionally, what, what's your number right now? You were feeling like a 10 when you thought about that incident. What, um, oh, I stressed, what, yeah. What's your number right now when you think of that uh, two years ago? About a five. And what's still five. there? Yeah. What's the five? What What's that five? G guilt, guilt. Guilt. I would think okay, let's guilt. Just have yeah. and, and 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 I feel like I'm. I'm. Uh, why, why are you so stupid? Why did you make that mistake? You know, like you should have thought about mm. it better. You know? Okay. So let's just mm. do some tapping. All these remaining feelings. When I think about that incident, feeling stupid. Oh. Keep tapping on the collarbone. These remaining feelings that I'm still holding on to, I'm still feeling guilty about something I did in the past. I'm still beating myself up. All this past guilt, remaining guilt for making those mistakes. I was new, in a new country, starting a new business, wasn't perfect, no one's perfect. Nobody starts a company and has success right away. I wonder how many people out there have made the same mistakes I did. What if I could release that guilt? What if I was just doing the best that I could with the tools that I had and I was trying my best? I prefer to release all these heavy feelings of guilt and shame and feeling not good enough. Because nothing's perfect, no one's perfect, and mistakes are really not failures. They're just stepping stones. It's all a learning process. What if I could make peace with the past? Take a deep breath. And I want you to notice right now, what's the number about the feeling? How are you feeling? If it was a 10 and it was a five, feeling guilt and okay, I'm stupid, I shouldn't have done this. What's coming up right now? Um, I'm thinking maybe I could try this process again, but in a different way, because now my mistake was actually an education. Mm. So. Yeah. And you know, we, you know, at once someone once said to me, uh, I said to him, "Oh, I'll, I'll learn from my mistakes." And he said, "Will you?" I said, "What do you mean? Of course, I won't." And he went, "No." So he says, "A lot of people say that, but they actually don't learn from their mistakes. You know, they they keep doing the same mistake mm -hmm. again. You know." But now I know. I, I I'm this is my education. I'm, I'm looking at it now as like an expensive education. You know, like going to Harvard or something. You pay a lot of money. Yeah. So that this was my education. Not this is not how you do business. So yeah, you learn. You learn what you know. And for me, this is I'm, I'm teaching where I failed miserably. I was on bed rest with chronic pain, and uh, you know you can see it as a complete failure. Or you know I learned from it, and now I can help others not to make the same mistake. So it's it's always a learning process. Yeah. So right now, on a scale of zero to ten, tune back in emotionally and just what are you feeling? 
on a scale of zero to 10, we made those mistakes, you know, the company had problems, lost money as you tune back into that old incident two years ago when the hip pain kind of started. Uh, how are you feeling about that right now when you think about it? Um, maybe a one or a two. One or a two. And what, what might yeah. that be? Like, what what is that one? Um, you can pinpoint. What is that one? It's like um, maybe a little bit fear. Fear that... Um, Or maybe you know some kind of guilt that I didn't ask for help. Mm. Then you know I was trying to do it all myself instead of okay. So I didn't ask for asking help. for help. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. let's tap. Yeah, tap along. This remaining feeling, this remaining one that I'm still feeling as I tune into that old incident. Why didn't I ask for help? This feeling, yeah. this remaining feeling. I didn't, I didn't ask for help. And all these feelings that are coming up right now, when I tune into that old incident two, three years ago. So it wasn't perfect. I could have asked for help. I could have, I should have. All these feelings, they're not relevant right now. I'm choosing to release these feelings. I'm choosing to let them go. All the remaining guilt, all the remaining feelings of why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? I'm choosing to offload all those remaining feelings because they're not helping me, they're not empowering me and they're just keeping me stuck. They're pulling me down they're blocking me from moving forward in peace. I choose to release them and I move forward in peace now. And just take a deep breath, everyone who's following along. Pauline, I don't see you, that's fine. So tell me what's going on with you with that. Uh, what are you feeling right now as you tune into this incident? Um, I'm feeling a bit lightheaded, <laughs> you know, like, um, like uh, you know, no, 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 not, not that, uh, uh, like, you know uh, how um, when you've had a big burden yeah. and then it, it lifts off and you feel like, yeah. and you know, when you're tapping, <laughs> it's clearing, it's high. like it's unclogging <laughs> jammed pipes. It's like when you get a massage and then suddenly you feel relaxed and that's what happens, that lightheaded feeling because there's more flow in, in, in your, you know, en mm -hmm. energy meridians and in, in, the, in the channels and um, you feel a bit lighter. So tell me on a scale of zero to 10 emotionally, yeah. where is your number right now about this incident to you? Okay. So from a 10 to uh, a five, to I, a I would say, one zero. To a I would zero. say zero. And tell mm -hmm. me what's going on with your it's left like, hip. Uh -huh. Um, half or one. I would say it's. Yeah, I think I think that's uh, about know, a one or a that's, half. That's uh, that's that's great because it was a five. Mm -hmm. And There's, the thing is that there may be other incidents mm -hmm. around that time that mm -hmm. two years ago that you may need to address. So even for people who are watching, uh, you know, it's really important mm -hmm. to go back. And because Pauline told me that you started your business, but also your husband had been you know, going through some sickness. And if you kind of start going back to those incidents during that phase in your life when you were stressed, then you can actually clear this hip pain for good, for, for forever. So uh, we only have this much time and I know we're running short, we have 45 yeah. minutes. So, uh, you know, uh, it's wonderful that we were able to yeah. move this from a, from a 10 to a zero and a five to a half. <laughs> That's a good description. But uh, I want everybody to tune in and, and see what's going on with you right now. Uh -huh. And uh, just like a quick, uh, quick, uh, you know, summary of what we just did. So uh, first of all, we, we learned that the root cause of hip pain is about all about moving forward, right? and what pace of life, and I can imagine, only imagine, 
uh, for Pauline with her hip pain, which started two, three years ago. She started a company. She was learning a new language. There's like so much to do. And the pace of life is naturally hectic. And there's a lot of stress uh, with trying to do so many things. So, you know, the root cause of hip pain is usually about making decisions moving forward. Uh, you know, uh, are you moving forward with frantic pace? Are you moving forward with resistance, with fear? Um, and, you know, what's your pace? Uh, you know, so tune into that. That's the root cause. And then as we be began using the tapping technique, you know, I asked uh, a, a bunch of questions. Here, here's some of the ways that you need to address your chronic pain. The hip pain is you know, find a specific location. Where is it located? Left side of the hip, right side of the hip. Describe the pain for Pauline. It was, it, it felt like a circle that was radiating. It felt like pressure. We gave it a number, rating it on a scale of zero to 10. And then we tune into how are you feeling about it? And we use all this information to tune in. And then we tapped on different points. And then the next round of tapping, we were looking at when did this pain start? Two years ago, uh, you know, Pauline was starting a new company and, uh, you know, a specific memory. We tuned into a specific memory, what was going on. And then what was the stress at the time? So we were tapping on the, on the stresses that she was going through. And then, you know, just tuning into how you were feeling. And she was at a 10 right now thinking about something that happened like uh, three years ago. And that's, that's really important. And, and the more you can get the intensity of your feelings from feeling overwhelmed and you know upset and mad at yourself and all of those things down to a zero, then you know you've significantly released that excess pressure inside your system and you're feeling uh, much more relieved. So we were able to manage her hip pain instantly uh, you know, without taking any medicines, without any, you know, just, just naturally, instantly, just with your fingertips. And that's what this tool can do for you. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you were able to, you know, uh, tap along with us. I would love to know, you know, if you had any ahas, what came up for you? Was there any memory that came up for you? Uh, and what did you you know, what shifts did you experience? How was, what, what your number was and what happened towards the end? So, uh, you know, thank you so much, Pauline, for being here, for joining. Um, I hope, uh, I hope you got something, uh, you know, and, and, and you, you can go back and do some homework. And uh, thank you uh, for all the people who have joined us today or on live. Uh, please leave a comment below and let us know what what uh, you know what uh, your shifts were, were. and uh, we hope to uh, you know you'll join us the next time. Uh, we'll be discussing uh, you know a different area of uh, chronic pain. So please join us again. My website is magicalpainfreeliving.com. So that's where you can reach me, and I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you from Iceland. Yay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye from Iceland. <laughs> Bye.